Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a full review of the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. I did four looks with this and I'll be inserting all of them as well as swatches and a little bit of footage on how I created today's look. So if you want to hear my full thoughts on this baddie, be sure to stay tuned. If you're new here, my name is Megan. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell before you leave just so that you're notified of all my future uploads. And of course, if you like this video, if you like me, if you like Huda, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. But yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into this review. Okay, so first and foremost, I did receive the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette in PR. However, there was no obligation to post. And if you've been here, I'm sure that you're already aware that I really enjoy Huda's eyeshadow palette formula. So keep that in mind as we go forward. But this is the Rose Quartz Palette, which is her newest launch. This was actually on sale for 30% off during Black Friday. So hopefully you snagged it then. It is a little bit more of a pricey palette, but her formula honestly is so good. So to start, I wanted to show you guys what I use to create today's look that's on my face. And I'll insert clips here, but I first took the shade Cherished, which is this really beautiful light pink color. I put that all over the lid and blended it out. It honestly had more pigmentation than I had anticipated. I have watched some other reviews and they said it like blended into nothing. I'm sure this kind of just is going to depend on like your skin tone um, and how you prep your eyes. So that'll vary. But I thought this was kind of fairly pigmented for being a lighter pastel shade. But either way, it was really great to go ahead and set the base before we went in with the next shade. The next shade I went in with is Happiness. It's this really pretty pink color here. Once I got that onto the lid, it was a lot brighter than I was expecting. It had definitely like a neon vibe to it, but I thought it looked really pretty with this look and it built on top of Cherished really well. I then took the shade Aura, which is this nice shade over here that looks like it's brown, but it's definitely not. It has a really purple undertone to it, and that is what I was stamping into the crease over there, just building that up. I also took that shade on the lower lash line as well. I thought it complemented the look really well. Next, I went in with the shade Moon Magic, which is this really pretty shade right here. I'll swatch it for you guys. So, so, so stunning. I went in with that all over the lid, and I will say um, I did try one of the other shades that have the same formula. Um, and when I used it last time, I did not prime my lids or use like a glitter glue at all. I just went straight in with the um, product. And when I did this, I experienced a lot more fallout on my cheeks throughout the day. So today I went in with the glitter primer first and then I applied the shade Moon Magic over the top and touched it up with a brush. With this method, I found that I didn't really experience any fallout on uh, my cheeks from my eyes. So before going in with these more shimmered foiled shades, I would recommend using a glitter glue before going in. Uh, it's just going to hold up a little bit better for you that way. I also use the shade Self Love here and I just took that on the brow bone and on the inner corner and I think it's really pretty. It has a nice like pink to gold shift. Overall, um, I didn't have any trouble or struggles creating this look. I lastly took the uh, Love Stones shade, which is the one right here that looks like the, uh, everyone calls it the Petri dish. And I just took it over the uh, shade that I already had there on the lid. And what that did, in my opinion, I felt like it intensified the shimmer and just gives it more of a wet look. It didn't feel uh, gooey or sticky or anything like that on my lid. If it does crease, I will update you guys in the description, but so far it's really just enhanced what was already there and that's probably its purpose because I mean it'd be, I don't know how you'd really wear it on its own, but it's a really nice enhancer for whatever look that you're going for, I think. So 
I'll make sure to keep you guys updated um, on that as well. Like I mentioned, this is just the look that I created today. Um, it's super pretty. I think I will insert video footage or a still shot or something here and now so that you guys can see a more up close look of this particular eyeshadow look. I'm now going to go ahead and start showing some of the other looks that I have created with this palette. The first look I created is this really beautiful like deep cool toned purple like I honestly I think that this look and the first look I created with this palette are probably my favorite. That one consisted of if I recall correctly um these two shades over here this shade here and then this shade down here created like a such just like a gorgeous cool toned purple look and it almost like had a little bit of some like taupey tones in it as well that was probably that might have actually been my favorite look that i created in all honesty the second look i created is a more pink gold spin um i used up here some of these shades i know that i used this shade on the top of the lid there to create that I don't recall specifically which shades I used for each one. I do know that I have used every shade but two or three in here, but I've swatched all of them. Um, the third look I created, I will go ahead and insert it now. It's like kind of similar to this look in terms of the lid shade I used. So I use this one over here, which is blissful on the lid on the look that I'm showing now. And then today I used this one on my lid. So I feel like in the photos, they're coming across pretty similar, but in the swatches, they are definitely different and they're beautiful. Um, this one's a little bit deeper, has more of a cool tone base, whereas this one Reminds me more of a really just like beautiful, intense topper. So yeah, those are the four looks that I yeah. used to create with this palette. I do also have swatches of them, so I will go ahead and insert them now. The place where you see where it looks like there is a blank, that's where I swatched Love Stone. It was really difficult to capture that one. So yeah, I have like a close-up shot of that on my IG, but it was really difficult to capture, especially... Um, in videos but it has a really pretty like purpley blue pink reflect going on in it and like I said I just think it's there to kind of enhance the um, shadows the mattes swatched beautifully I didn't have any issues there as well as the shimmers and the foils like honestly this palette texture is so buttery uh, I was really impressed with it I feel like her formula in these bigger palettes has come a long way I have new nude and I really love it, but I think that this formula is superior to that, which I think says a lot. Um, the packaging is also really nice. As you guys can see, all of that holographic work, the detail, it feels like quality. It's not, I hate when brands who charge a high price point, like, you know, Natasha Denona, like her bigger palettes for, and like the packaging is like, it doesn't feel luxury like the price. I'm not saying this is the most luxe packaging I have, but I think that it's nice compared to a lot of others that charge at a similar price point. So I really did enjoy that. I think that um, the swatches are really beautiful. I haven't created a look that I didn't like. So overall, like what it really comes down to is going to be like your preference in color and tone. Uh, if you have quite a few Huda palettes and you know that like this palette, New Nude, Mercury Retrograde, they can all be like sisters, like very closely related um, because a lot of the tones and the undertones are similar. So if you're not someone who likes, you know, a pink or a purple, then you won't enjoy this palette because even the shades that appear to be like when you swatch them or you look at them in the pan, that appear to be deeper in tone. Like I was like, okay, these will be more of like a neutral brown. Like that'll be, you know, nice to work with. They're not. Um, once you get them on the lid and they're playing with the other shades, then you can see their true undertone come out and the undertone is a purple or it's a pink. So when you're tying it in with those other colors, it enhances that undertone even more. So if you're not into purple or pink shadows, then this is probably not gonna be for you. 
but if you like purples, you like pinks, you can get a lot of really gorgeous looks out of this palette. I will say, um, overall, I love Huda's formula. The mattes blend effortlessly. I never have an issue with mattes. They don't get muddy. Uh, they don't crease. I don't have any issues with them. So her mattes are phenomenal. They're pigmented. It just comes down to the undertone and what you like. The foils and shimmers are literally superior. They're so good. I barely had to use any to tap it on my lid to get this look, you guys. They're just so good. Like, I... If you haven't tried a big one from Huda, then like you don't know because I don't believe she has that. Um, that formula is not in the nine pans, at least not the nine pans that I have. So it's a really nice experience. Um, really underrated too, I feel like. And I'm trying to think, um, I mean, the Petri dish shade, I mean, I don't, I don't think it's necessary, but I do think it's like something different and something innovative. She's the only one that does it. And I do think that it enhanced the shadow that was on my lid. Like I said, I'll keep you guys posted for um, creasing, but I've had this on for over an hour. And if it was creasing, I feel like it would have already started by now just due to the texture. And I have not experienced any of that at all. So overall, I really like this palette. And I think that if you enjoy purple and pink tones. I don't think that you will be disappointed at all. If you've been here, then you know I highly recommend Huda's eyeshadow formula, her stick foundation. Um, I just got a new lippy to try. I'm really excited about. I have a few items from Wishful I really love. So I don't know. You might take that as bias, but it's just good. <laughs> it's good. So I like it. And I've also really enjoyed the fact that she has consistency. Um, I love New Nude. I loved the formula in Mer Mercury Retrograde. It's con And um, I loved also what I have, the Jaguar palette, Topaz, Chocolate Obsessions. And I find that this palette, Rose Quartz, is consistent with all of those other palettes, which honestly, I think speaks a lot for a brand when you can order a palette from them and then just trust that the quality is going to be as good as the other palettes you own. Um, cause I've had some experiences with other brands and that's not the case, which really sucks when you're expecting a certain amount of quality and then you don't get it. But with Huda, I will say that you get the same quality. It's consistent and it's good quality. It's high quality. Um, if you don't want to pick it up at full price, Huda does a, she had a huge sale. Um, she also does some other sales here and there throughout the year. Plus, I know a lot of bigger influencers um, like Laura Lee, they have a code so you can get a discount that way if you're looking to do it that way. Uh, but overall, I highly recommend this palette. I think that if you're into those sort of shades and undertones, I think that you will love this. I know that I do. I think it looks really nice, you guys. I love this look. But yeah, if you liked this style of um, review, please let me know in the comments or give this video a big thumbs up. I tried some different stuff today, so yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.